A fantastic evening last Outside the White House Saturday morning, President Donald Trump wanted to talk more about the new tax plan passed by the U.S. Senate than about his former national security advisor's Russian contacts. No, I'm not. And what has been shown is no collusion. No collusion. There's been absolutely, there's been absolutely no collusion, so we're very happy. And frankly, last night was one of the big nights. On Friday, Michael Flynn pleaded guilty in federal court to lying to the FBI about efforts to obtain advanced knowledge of how foreign governments might vote on a U.N. Security Council resolution regarding Israel and about conversations he had with Russia's ambassador to the U.S. during the presidential transition. As part of the deal, Flynn agreed to cooperate with Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian meddling into last year's presidential election. Mueller is looking into whether the Trump campaign colluded with Russia. He's also looking into the president's business ties there. Flynn is the fourth member of the president's inner circle to be charged in connection with the investigation. And political analyst Eric Hamm says he's clearly the most significant. Michael Flynn was a very high profile target both in the campaign and in the White House. And so what he's looking to do is Bob Mueller is looking to steadily move up the food chain. He's looking to get bigger fish. And so I think he's looking at possibly Jared Kushner, Kushner and maybe even the president going forward. Last winter, President Trump said he fired Flynn just one month into his national security advisory post because he had lied to Vice President Mike Pence about his contacts with Russia. But the president offered another explanation Saturday in a tweet saying, I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president and the FBI. He has pled guilty to those lies. It is a shame because his actions during the transition were lawful. There was nothing to hide. Diane Esterbrook, Al Jazeera, Washington.